Hello, I'm Terry Kolath. I'm here with our senior pastor of the Village Church, Andrew Hawkins. Thank you for joining me, Pastor Andy. My pleasure. One of the things that's really nice about you, and there are many, is you have a PhD and a lot of experience in education. Not only do you educate us from the pulpit, but you educate us in one-on-one -on -one and sometimes in the Academy of Lifelong Learning. Yeah, I love the Academy. It's a great opportunity. And we love yeah. that you participate, especially in May. You've been doing this for a while. I've been wondering. That's right. What a, what a, a chance for us to ask our own personal question, mm -hmm. either by email or note to the Village Church, email to you. And you select which questions represent what yeah. most people want to know. That's right. And, and most of the time, I'm, I'm able to get everybody's question yeah. uh, at one and answer it in some fashion mm -hmm. uh, in these uh, sessions. But I just love doing that kind of thing. Everybody has some ideas and questions that they've been uh, struggling with, perhaps over the years. And uh, yeah. and so we want to give folks an opportunity to uh, to lay them on the table, and we'll do the best we can to answer them. Well, isn't that wonderful? You know that you you even understand that we. Do have questions if we're seeking yeah. an answer, what, and what? they're not always they're not always answerable. I mean, there are times in which I have to shrug my shoulders just because uh, you know it, it, we just don't know everything. But uh, we try the best we can to give good answers. Yeah. Well, you have yeah. a lot of experience, a lot of education, and a lot of people look up to you for well, you know. Just tell us what you think. Well, that will really very, help. You're very kind. No, it, would, yeah. it really, yeah. really helps. And. Some of the things I think in times like these where we kind of question, you know, really what does it mean to be a Christian in this world? Mm -hmm. It's got to be um, challenging for a pastor. Oh, absolutely. You know, how, how do you do it? How do you mm -hmm. keep yourself going with all of that mm -hmm. challenge going on? Yeah, it isn't, it isn't easy. Mm -hmm. You have to uh, go back to some fundamental biblical principles and try best to, uh, to be uh, consistent with the things that you know the scriptures indicate. Uh, but at the same time, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of gray in in the world that we live in, mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what kinds of questions uh, you know take uh, place today. Obviously, uh, you know there are theological and biblical issues that people have in mind, but there are also applications that people are uh, wondering about based upon the current uh, perhaps political uh, circumstances or the world scene or uh, cultural issues, those kinds of things. Uh, how do biblical principles apply to those things? And those are, uh, those are certainly not off limits in a session like I've been wondering. Yeah. You know, it, it, it occurs to me all the time how it is so different now than when I grew up. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, everybody was like me. You know, we all had the yeah. same faith. We were economically the same. You know, the neighborhood all spent time right. together. And, you know, the family all felt the same way. Right. And now, I don't know if it's technology or if it's just, you know, the whole world comes to us. Everybody's mm -hmm. point of view. Absolutely. Factual and not factual. Mm -hmm. It's just so different, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, the, the world is a smaller place in many respects. Mm -hmm. And so the uh, cultural boundaries have uh, sort of dissolved before our eyes in so many mm -hmm. ways. Uh, there are wonderful dimensions of that because we certainly come into contact with people and uh, circumstances and traditions that we never would have uh, come in contact with before. Mm -hmm. uh, you and I grew up wondering uh, why anybody else and anybody else's family would be different. Uh, but now we see differences all around us, and so and within we, our own families, even and within our own families, that's exactly right. And so uh, it, it forces us to think. And uh, the Bible never asks us to sort of hang our uh, our brains in the church coat closet <laughs> exactly. as we come into uh, church. We uh, need to be thinking people. And I hope you know people are thinking when they uh, uh, come into our worship opportunities, sure. and certainly when you go to the academy, we ought to be thinking a lot. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, we'll think think well and think together, and uh, and then also recognize that people have uh, different points of view and and uh, be respectful of one another. That's all part of what happens in a time like uh, I've been wondering. That's so fabulous. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Well, I also appreciate your wonderful staff. They've mm -hmm. contributed so many ways in the Academy of Lifelong Learning. Yep. And what a wonderful thing that our community thinks there's value in having an Academy of Lifelong Learning. Absolutely. And people contribute to it and mm -hmm. we all can learn from each other. So, yep. I can't wait. I've been wondering. Yeah, me too. We're looking forward to it. <laughs> Thank you. Join us please for I've Been Wondering. Don't forget to submit your questions ahead to Pastor Hawkins, um, Care of the Village Church, and you can also email him.
Thank you.